Previously on The Walking Dead, AJ and I had been searching for a long time for some place we could call home. Just when we thought we'd found a huge stash of food, it turned out to be a trap. That could have been the end. But I woke up and found I'd been saved by a guy named Marlin. The leader of a community, living inside an old boarding school. It felt like a chance at having a home, a real one. We had to go back to the train station to see if any food survived the explosion. But someone else had the same idea. When AJ distracted him, I shoved him into a pack of walkers. I found Marlon and Brody in the basement that night, arguing about the man we'd seen, and I learned why Brody was so afraid. The man was part of a group of raiders they'd run into a year ago. Marlon traded Tennessee's older sisters to the raiders to keep himself safe. He attacked Brody and locked me in the basement with her. When she turned, I had to stop her. Marlon stole AJ's gun and tried to convince them I had murdered Brody. Lewis backed me up. With everyone against him, the fight went out of Marlon. I told him to leave and never come back. But then... Marlon was dead. And AJ pulled the trigger. He remembered what I'd taught him. to always aim for the head. I made you some coffee. It was in the kitchen. Tin said that I can have some. I didn't steal it. <sighs> I'm surprised you remember how to make it. We haven't had coffee in a long time. You put it in hot water. You're right. Thanks. Last night, with Marlon? I heard Lewis and, and what he called me. Am I a murderer? No! Oh my god! Shit! We could get medicine from the nurse's office. He's dead. The kid blew his brains out. You shot him. He's dead. You're a murderer. You promised Marlin. You said you'd help him fix things. What the fuck did you teach this kid? Lewis called me a murderer. But, but we're supposed to kill bad stuff. Monsters. Did I do it bad? I thought Marlin was bad. He killed Brody. He, he kept telling lies. Well, Lewis was scared and really hurt. I didn't hurt him. No, I meant he was sad, but he shouldn't have said that to you. If I'm a murderer, I, I should know, right? So, 
so that I can try not to be your... I don't know. Lewis was wrong. What you did was justified. Justified? It means you had a good reason for doing it. I was justified. What are we gonna do? Back off, all of you! It was under control! I talked Marlin down, then he murdered my fucking friend! Take AJ, go inside. Come on, let's go. Oh, just let them go back to the dorms? What happens the next time one of us does something this kid doesn't like? Should we expect a bullet too? That's not what happened. It's exactly what happened. It was over. To little Mr. Trigger Happy decided otherwise. No, he wouldn't do that. He'd never hurt any of you. It was... Marlin threatened us. AJ pointed the gun first. We get it, Lewis. Just back off, okay? Back off? Seriously? Let's go. Clem? Clem? They better not call me a monster. They were scared of me, even though Marlon was the bad guy. I'm not scary. I wasn't... I didn't act like a monster. I stopped a monster. I know you're not. We just need to prove it to them. I'll tell them they're wrong. They'll know when someone explains it to them. Like, you explain things to me. AJ, come sit with me. We've got nothing to apologize for. You saved me and them from a monster. They'll see that. We'll make them. <laughs> for God's sake, someone help me with this! <laughs> Save you from that car wreck, and you fucking murdered him? Get back, Mitch. Get back. Or what? You're gonna let him kill me too? Then who's next? A Sim? Willy? Haven't enough people died tonight? Brody, Marlin, we can't keep killing each other. Oh, fuck, are you saying that to me after what he did? Screw both of you. Hey. What is it? You've killed a lot of people. Did you kill your friend Lee because he was a monster? W what brought that on? Was it murder when you shot him? I killed him because I loved him. I didn't want him to suffer. How? He'd be dead. He would have turned. I didn't want that for him. He deserved better. I love you, Clem. I love you back. Hey. Violet said to come get you for the funeral. Really? We used to have them more. Then we stopped. It seems right, though. I brought you something. For me? I figured you'd be afraid, with everyone all upset. But you were brave last night. Like a firefighter. What are those? Drawings for Marlon and Brody. It's of stuff they wanted. I'm going to put them on their graves. They don't need them. They're dead. They're not gonna get that stuff. That's not why you do it. It's a sweet idea, Ten. They'll look really nice on the graves. Thank you. Have fun with your firefighter, okay? Can we play with them later? Sure. After the funeral. They buried them already. Vile started soon. See you out there. This is gonna suck.
They're gonna say a lot of things about Marlin and Brody. Some true, some not. Let's just get through it without upsetting everybody, okay? Okay, I'll try. Hey, AJ, where's that toy Ten just gave you? Let's show it off with the rest of our stuff. I like all our stuff. <sighs> Ready? I did that. Come on. Oh, God. They're here. So what? They knew Brody, didn't they? Yeah, but Marlin... Just leave them alone. <sighs> Shit. Clem? What? <clears throat> Why do people have funerals? Tin said they used to have them more. They died. But I don't get it. Well, to remember people we loved. Shit. They loved Marlin. Brody, yeah, they did. I didn't she love Marlin. Sweet. Let's just get through this. Does everyone get a funeral? People do. Some animals, too. Even monsters? Marlon did bad things, but he wasn't a monster. But you told me I was... justified. You were, but Marlon, he just made mistakes. That's all. Ten. You ready? Brody, you always said you wanted to go to the beach. So, I drew it for you. Marlin was... I can't. Not for Marlin. After what he did to the twins and Brody, I... You didn't even like Brody! You were always mean to her. I can't. Someone else do it. Bitch. Dude, don't. Seriously, Lewis? He was your best friend. It wasn't perfect, but you deserve better than to get gunned down by that kid. AJ killed him like it was nothing. I don't appreciate your tone, Mitch. Yeah? Well, I don't appreciate your kid murdering my friend. I... I was justified. Clem told me. Fuck, I can't listen to this. Damn, that's... shit. That's what you told him? That what he did was... was okay? We can't. Wait. We should talk this out. Talk about what? He murdered our friend! I know, this sucks. I'm sorry for that. I really am. But AJ did what he had to do. Are you shitting me right now? See what I mean? How can any of us trust these fucking people? What are you saying? I'm saying they gotta fucking go. We take a vote. 
Majority decides. They stay or they leave. Today. That does seem fair. Are you serious? It's bullshit. What? You can't just kick us out. We brought you here. That means we can get rid of you, too. That is fucked up. After all Marlin did... Two wrongs don't make a right. A vote's the only way to settle this, or we'll be arguing forever. Fine. I guess we're fucking voting. Lewis needs to vote. Could you go get him? And try to talk to him. Come on, Rosie. Come here, girl. Could you guys go wait in the dorm? I'll come get you. Please don't kick us out. Come on, let's go. AJ, stop. You'll break your toe or something. Come here, sit down. No! It didn't work. I did what you said and they didn't even care. Marlin was bad. I tried to tell them, but they wouldn't even listen at all. AJ, breathe. Remember what we do when we're mad? <laughs> Come on, you don't want to be loud, do you? What do we do when we're mad? We stop and think and, um... I'm still really, really mad. I know that I'm not supposed to get mad or sad because then I do dumb things. You need to handle your feelings. Get them under control. <sighs> I know, or I'll make mistakes. Exactly. We stop, we think, and we breathe. Breathe. Feel better? You're still mad, huh? And, uh, I think I'm sad too. I did what you told me to. I know. You're a good listener. I wanted to show them I was right. Like you said. It didn't work. Why'd you tell me to do that if it didn't work? I thought they would listen to us. I didn't realize I... I didn't know how bad it would be. 
It's my fault they got angry. But they hate me. They don't hate you. Hmm. I think they hate us both. I don't want to go. I know you don't. I like knowing where we are all the time. The bed, the food. I like the other kids. Not all of them, but Tin and Louis and Violet. We took the vote. You have to leave. Don't we get to vote? I vote that we stay. That's not how it works. Maybe it should be. You don't have to like it. Good, because I don't. Seriously? Nothing? You know this is fucking wrong, and you're not gonna fight it at all? There's nothing to fight. We already decided. You can be such a shithead, Lewis. So fucking stupid. You said you'd go along with it, if we voted fairly. It's bullshit. And you'd know it if you weren't so used to burying your head in the sand. Oh, I'm burying my head in the sand? Hate Marlin all you want, but you can't tell me AJ isn't dangerous too. We'll wait for you to pack up, then Lewis and I'll escort you out past the safe zone. We'll make sure you get to the road safely. It's not a lot, but at least you won't die on the way. Thanks for making sure that we... No, don't thank them! It's, it's their fault we gotta leave. They're gonna get rid of us. Get him under control. AJ, breathe. Where's Tin? I gotta say goodbye. He was really upset about the vote, and he's not talking to anybody. It's best to leave him alone when he's like this, but for the record, he wanted you to stay. Wait. Does AJ still have that gun? Hand it over. Is this necessary? Hell yes, it's necessary. Give it to him. I might need it. AJ, now. Fuck. There. Happy? Can we go? <clears throat> Will we get another car? Probably not. We got lucky before. So we're walking. My shoes are gonna break. Well, we'll have to hope they hold out. My feet are gonna bleed again. We'll tear up a shirt and tie them up if we have to. It's not so bad. I mean, you've done this before. Probably pretty good at it by now. Almost like going home for you guys. Yeah, and it almost killed us. You saw how fucked up we were after that car crash. I swear.
We're here. The road's that way. Anything you want to say before we go? I've said plenty. Thanks for trying to keep us. You're welcome. I wish you could stay. I didn't want this. Come on, let's just go. Give us a minute, would you? Yeah, so do I. I wish we hadn't fucked it up. You didn't. Marlon did. Even dead, he's still ruining shit. Jesus, Violet. Give him some fucking peace. Just stay safe. Both of you. I must be stupid. I can't leave you out here unarmed. Thanks. Let's get going. The sun will set soon. How do you know? I don't know. I can just feel it. How? There's this cold that settles on my skin. It happens right before a storm, too. I don't feel that. You haven't been on the road as long as me. Clem? Hmm? Will we be okay? I thought we were done running from all the bad people. We'll find someplace new. Someplace better. I'll try not to mess it up. Come on out. I saw a couple of you on the road. How long do you think you can hide? Oh, shit. That's the man from the train station? Yes. I thought he died. You can survive a bite if you cut it off fast enough. Ugh. Stay here. Aren't you? Just walk away and we'll let you go. Closer, your friend might get her head blown off. Abel. Good to see you again, Squirt. Uh, don't! I've seen these ones before. Fighters. Both of them. You'll like them. We're looking for a kid. Runs a community near here. Marlon. Uh, he's dead. Well, shit. This can still work. How about it? You want to take us back to your school? Help us talk to your friends? It's not like you have many other options. It's not my school. I don't live there. I find that very hard to believe. Not a lot of kid communes around here. Don't! Let him go, please! Sure, if you do like we ask. Otherwise, I'm happy to crack his head open. You ever seen old fruit explode after you throw it at something? That's just how it'll look. Clementine! Oh my god. Clementine, it's you? I... 
My name is Lily. You probably don't remember me. Lily? I thought you died. I came close. What the hell? Not now. The fuck is this? Lee isn't with you. So he's dead then. He was kind to me. Even after I shot that girl. Carly. Lee should have never let me stay with the group. It was too easy to steal the RV and leave. He had too much faith in other people. Probably why he kept you around. Probably why he didn't make it. Same thing will happen to you if you repeat his mistakes. Your little boy there, you'll die protecting him. You may be able to keep this up a while longer, but eventually he'll slow you down. A walker you didn't spot. A bullet you couldn't dodge. A desperate cry for help that brings the herd. It happened to Lee, and it'll happen to you. I'm not Lee. I've survived for years on my own. You've made it this far. I'll give you that. But you and a few other kids hiding out in the woods? You have to know that can't last. Fuck, we don't have time for all this. We've got history. Great. You know her, I know her. Point is, we've got a job to do. We can help you raise that boy, Clementine. But we need you to do something for us. <laughs> what? Help you kidnap a couple more kids? We don't need a couple. We need all of you. We'll take you back to the Delta to join our people. We have walls, we have working solar panels, and we grow our own food. All we need from you is to go back to your friends and convince them to come peacefully. No one will be harmed. I'm not Marlin. Here's what I'll do. I'll take the little squirt here right now. That way, I'm sure you'll play nice. Be smart about this, Clementine. It's an us or them kind of world, Clem. If you want to save your little one, you won't pick them. Shoot! <laughs>
we lost him.
No. Stop. Too loud. Shrapnel out. Me? I'll keep him still. to be loud. It's okay, AJ. Just breathe. Put your hands there. Stop the bleeding. It's okay, AJ. He's just gonna patch you up. Oh. It's enough. For now. Oh, oh. Easy. Easy. Where's our stuff? My gun. We lost it, buddy. Lewis got shot. I saw. They saved us. Yeah, they did. It sucks. I didn't mean to endanger you. The walkers were sent to help you. You sent the walkers? Was part of a group. Call themselves Whisperers. They've learned to live in herds, among walkers. Move among them. Sometimes guide them. Why are you alone, if you were part of a group? They attacked a community. Saw the carnage. Didn't want to be part of it. Oh, does it hurt? Hungry. Eat. Both of you. Thank you. Do you have a name? Been a while. Since? I've said it.
James. Why did you help us, James? The people who attacked you. What do you know about them? I know they steal kids. They took two last year. A common practice for them. They're at war up north. Their entire community against another. It's why they take people. To make them fight. Train them. Use them. You would join their war. That's horrible. Yes. That's why I helped you. Thank you. Clem? Wait. Throw it. Distract him. Works just as well, and nobody gets hurt. Not us. Not him. Thank you. Safe. It was difficult to send the herd in to save you. I didn't want them to die. So, James, do you just hang around in the woods, saving random people? After I left my group, I wandered. First time alone, ever. Saw war everywhere. First against walkers, then against each other. Hoped it would be better here. Where are you from? Here? Or somewhere far away? You can't remember. Even if you can remember, you can't remember what it was like to belong. So, where are you from? Washington. The city or the state? The city. Dad ran a food truck. I helped. You've got a fever. His wound will need proper cleaning and medicine, if you're lucky enough to have any. The school has medicine, but I don't think they'll share it. That's why those people attacked you, isn't it? To get to that school. They'll destroy whatever they find. Bring more guns, more fighters. Take everyone inside. They won't be able to fight them off. You need medicine. You have to go back, or you'll lose him. I'll go back. Convince them to help AJ. They'll take us back once they see him. They wouldn't turn AJ away. You hope? I'll help you. Get back. Past the walkers. A few more hours and we'll go. That's a few hours for you to sleep. <sighs> I'll stay awake. You don't have to.
sleep. I'll keep watch. <sighs> okay, I will. What about you? Don't need it. Not tonight. Rest well. Good night. Is he awake? Yeah, he's so hot. I can carry him. You're exhausted. No, I've got him. there. can't keep carrying you. We'll be inside soon. Rest now. Shit. Is he... Uh... He's alive. He was shot. He's got a fever. Come on, let's get him inside. I can't. Okay, buddy. I got you. Let me see. I have what I need upstairs. Come on. We got the shrapnel out of him. We? It's a long story. He's running a fever. Body's trying to fight infection, poor little guy. Ruby and Lewis will take care of him. You come with me. We can talk in the office. Clem? Shh. You just try to rest, okay? We're gonna fix you right up. Clem! AJ, listen to Ruby, okay? She'll look after you. Come on, what do we do when we're scared? When fear starts to get the upper hand, we breathe. We breathe in. Hold it in. I'm good now. Clementine, please. We need to talk.
What happened out in the woods? I saw they had you pinned and I... Shit, I got so crazy. When I heard you call for help, I didn't even think. I just let go of the arrow. I wasn't even sure if I'd hit her. And then Louis got shot six, six inches over. We'd be digging another grave. I really thought you were dead, Clem. It's just everything is so fucked right now, you know? It's really good to see you again. It's good to see you too. Just wish Mitch and the others felt the same. Lewis and I told them what happened in the woods. That woman who attacked you, I... Lily. So you do know her. We were wondering. Who the hell is she? I mean, I know you're not like with her group. Lily and I were friends a long time ago. Friends? Back when the walkers first showed up, we lived in a motor inn. Survived really awful shit. Lily tried to keep us all together. Looks like she's changed. Yeah, seems that way. She murdered someone in our group, gunned them down during an argument. Carly was her name. She refused to let Lily push her around. It was right at the start. I haven't seen Lily since. I believe you. But? There's something else. Lily said someone was with you at the gates. James. He saved me and AJ. Let us stay in his camp for the night. But why did you bring him here? You led him right to us. I mean, he's a stranger, Clem. Running into those two in the woods, it proved we can't trust anybody. Look, he's not with the raiders. He lives by himself in the woods. Willie said he was wearing, I don't know, animal skins or something. He was wearing walker skin. That's how he gets past herds. He can guide them, too. <sighs> wow. Okay. I wouldn't have brought him here if I thought he was a threat. It's not that I don't trust you. I'm just worried about the others and what they might do. They didn't even get a chance to mourn Brody and Marlin before these child-snatching assholes showed up. And then you two come back after we thought you were dead. Now they're confused and no one knows how to feel about AJ. Violet? AJ is the least of their worries. I know, but everything is such a mess. They're scared and angry, and they're looking for someone to blame. I mean, they kicked you out. How am I supposed to make them change their minds about you? It was decided. Five to three against. I know it feels like it shouldn't matter, but they were afraid of you. Both of you. You're sitting in Marlin's chair, aren't you? You're their leader now. They'll listen to you. They don't, though. They only listen when they want to. Well, they'll have to start if they want to survive what's coming. James told me what Lily and Abel will do next. He said they'll get more people and guns and come attack us. Take everyone here. How the hell would he know? He's watched them for a while. They're at war with another community. They take people to fight for them.